Okay, what I'm going to do in this video is take a closer look at one of the maps and I'm going to pick what's commonly known as the EGR map. This is the EGR map. It's a Passat EDC 15 1.9 turbo diesel. And it's the same map that I identified in some of the previous videos if you've watched any of those. So I'll double click on that to open it up and it's opened up in 3D view and I want it to be quite big so I'll just move that up there and that's that's a nice size to look at the map because I want to look at what's going on. Right okay now what we've got then is along here we have got an axis where the amount of fuel injected is changing it's increasing it starts naught here and it's going up to 51 and at the same time if I look at the output on the map along that line directly above I've got 850 all the way along so nothing is changing and if I move across a little bit and I go across nothing is changing if I look along the bottom here what I've got here is revs per minute and so as I start down here which is naught which obviously doesn't really exist so if I move over to here to about sort of 700 ish what I've got then is somewhere in the region of 7 800 7 900 so there's my idle speed and then I'm going up and up and up and up until I get to a maximum of perhaps 5355 as on the graph so there's my revs per minute rising and there's my injection quantity rising now it's probably simpler in your own mind to look at these as two separate things. So in other words, what happens when injection quantity rises and what happens when engine speed rises? And then once you've got that straight in your mind, try and put the two together. So OK, let's have a look at what's happening as engine speed rises. Now as engine speed rises, if you were trying to inject 51 milligrams, which you probably won't be, but if you were, then as you tried to inject 51 milligrams with your foot absolutely flat on the floor, the engine speed would be constantly rising and rising and rising and rising. And the mass airflow, as appears in this EGR map, would stay constant at 850. So it wouldn't change. Now, of course, that's an example not necessarily of real life. So that's engine speed rising. Now let's try to go for another example, which again is not real life, but it will give us a clue as to what is going on. Let's pick a very low injection figure. Now the, the lowest is zero, which obviously is meaningless because the engine wouldn't be running then. But there, there's one here that's the probably the second one in, which is about seven milligrams. So we'd be injecting about seven milligrams. So we would be somewhere around about here on the map and because we're talking about engine speed we're going that way. Now what's happening? Well the mass airflow initially is whatever the maximum can be which in this case is 850 but then suddenly it drops dramatically down to here it drops to 250 so I've hit a speed or an engine speed of about 800 so in fact it probably isn't going to drop is it it may well start that low you just can't be 100% sure without measuring everything on your engine but let's assume it just suddenly dropped down there once the engine speed was 800 but of course if yours was ticking over 800 you'd be at that point already but the interesting thing is is that if that has dropped or started at this 250 value well it was 850 so why is it 250 where's the 600 gone that's missing well the 600 that's gone the 600 that's missing that must be coming from the EGR mustn't it because the, you can't make air appear from nowhere so if the airflow into the engine via the MAF or the AMM as people call it was 850 and now it's 250 it must still be 850 so we are getting 600 from somewhere else and that 600 is presumably coming from the EGR 
Now, as I move across, that value stays reasonably constant at 250. So as I go across here, it's reasonably constant at 250. So basically, as the revs rise, they rise up towards 2,500, 3,000. And all the time, the EGR seems to be open. It seems to be giving me about 600 milligrams per stroke of air. Now, as I head towards a more on what you might call flat out performance of the engine, so in other words, as I ask more and more from the engine, so I'm trying to get more and more power, it looks as if what's happening is I'm getting a little bit less from the EGR because by the time I get to here, I've got about 450 as a value. So that would give me a missing... 400 so the EGR was giving me down here about 600 but now the EGR value has fallen to about 400 and when I get up here which would be nearer to what I might consider to be a flat out engine speed what I've now got is no EGR flow at all because the math is measuring 850 which is the maximum it thinks it's going to measure and so the EGR valve isn't giving me anything so in a way then what this following this little scoop bit that way is telling me is how open the EGR valve will be as engine speed rises. Okay so that's with engine speed rising. Let's have a look at what happens when injection quantity rises going that way which of course it will when engine speed rises. So you can't really look at these on their own but we are at the moment. So what we've got now is we've got almost no injection so we're right down here so we've got very low values which tells us that at low values of injection the EGR is fully open and we're getting somewhere in the region of 600 milligrams per stroke of recycled exhaust gas right the injection quantity increases a little bit so that rises to about 10 milligrams and what happens now is the value falls to about 300 so I'm only getting about 550 flow from the EGR then we get to about 12 and a half 12.5 milligrams per stroke of fuel the value here is getting nearer to 400 so I'm getting somewhere in the region of 450 from the EGR and as I go up I'll miss that one I'll go up to that one to make a reasonable jump once I get to about here I've got an injection quantity of somewhere around about 17 milligrams and at that point at around about 17 milligrams I'm getting something like a value of 500 which means the EGR value has fallen to about 350 and so as I rise up here the EGR is closing until I get to this point where I'm injecting something like 33 milligrams the value is 740 so the amount from the EGR is only somewhere around about 100 110 and if I go any further it plateaus at 850 and I'm not getting any input from the EGR at all. So the EGR amount, the amount of added recirculated gas that I get given to me starts high down here and steadily decreases as I go up that slope. So it's steadily decreasing. Looks like it's increasing because that is the math flow. The math flow is increasing. The EGR value is steadily decreasing. So as I go up there, the amount of EGR that I get is steadily going down. And as I go up the revs higher, the amount of EGR flow is steadily going down. Now what does this mean in real life? Well in real life, if you want to take a guess at real life, what you would probably do is drive the engine in a way that you would be going somewhere diagonally across there. So you'd be going from here roughly across to there, which means that you would be doing both of these, wouldn't you? Because you would be increasing the amount of fuel injected 
and that would give you a corresponding increase in revs per minute so if you start over here somewhere then what you will do is you will automatically as you press the accelerator move to somewhere over there on a diagonal line and then over there and then over there and then over there and then over there and then, over there, and then end up over here somewhere at maximum revs and maximum injection so basically what you can say to yourself is that on the very first startup of the engine the EGR valve may be shut but it will very quickly open it will very quickly open either at idle or just above idle so yours may be set so that at idle it's shut and just after idle it opens this is quite common now what happens then is that the EGR valve then at just over idle opens fully and then as you start to accelerate up through the gears and continue to accelerate the only way you can accelerate is add more fuel so as you add more fuel and you accelerate the EGR valve just follows that sort of slope so in other words it is closing 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 now it's shut and so that's basically what the EGR map is showing you the EGR map is showing you how much the EGR is open and it is the scoop in the map which is telling you how much it's open now some people think that if they just change all of these values to 850 so they go back here and they just say right what I'll do is I'll make every value in this map 850 then all of the airflow will be via the MAF and none will be via the EGR so the EGR will effectively be shut and of course it will effectively be shut but you may well run into problems because if the EGR appears to be shut other maps in the file may well look to see what the EGR values are and if the EGR value here is supposed to be 250 for the math flow and 600 for the EGR flow if that's the values that are supposed to occur here and you've changed this map and set it to 850 the ECU will immediately flag an error and the mill light will come on on the dash so just setting this to 850 or just blanking off the EGR with a blanking plate may well not work on some of the slightly newer PD engines or most of the PD engines because what will happen is the software will spot that there's a problem and the mill light will come on right I'm not going to go into the, any more detail on that because I think that is probably enough to give anybody a headache so I shall just click this off and stop there <laughs>